Welcome to Zencomus India. We are glad to announce the release of new software version 5.8.0. In the latest version of the software, we have introduced three new features. Text classes, displaying of product price per unit in responsive layouts, assigning of on-sale price to multiple products. Let me describe the very first feature of text class or you can say text labs. The feature of text class allows you to assign different text values depending on the text settings that have been done under configuration. This feature allows you to choose where text calculated based on the country to which the product is shipped or the tax rate of the country from where the payment is made. So using the tax class feature, you can easily manage all tax calculation activities. So let me log in to the admin area to explain you in more detail. I will demonstrate it to you in a step by step manner. So go to configuration, catalog, tax rates, web. Here, here you need to decide whether you need to display product price in which of these three options. Gross only, net only or both. To continue with our example, let me select option as both, net plus gross. Then set show information about taxes and deliveries to yes. In the next step, you should select whether VAT is to be charged based on shipping country or billing country. In my example, let me select shipping country. It is very important to save the information. So I click save. After you save the settings, you will still remain on the same page and you will notice a green button on the top right corner below the main navigation which reads add wet tax rate. Kindly click this button. This page will ask you to fill some information about tax rates, name of the tax, etc. Let me define the tax name as Wet India. Note, this name is not visible anywhere on the store front end. I mean, not visible to your users. So, you can keep any name that is compatible for you. In the second field, please mention default tax value for India. Let me put 20%. If you want to set different tax for different states of India or to set tax rates for different country, then we can easily achieve it by clicking this plus icon. Define different tax settings for selected countries. Here we will demonstrate for India, but I would also like to take another country into consideration. Okay, I take United States of America. After you select the country, please input tax value in the adjacent box. For USA, let me consider tax as 25%. Click on add button. If you wish to add more countries, please repeat the same process. Right now, for my demonstration, I click on save button. We can even define one common tax for rest of the world by adding tax value in the rest of the world field. This is not a mandatory field, so you can even leave it as it is. Now we have set everything that is required under configuration. We are now moving to assign these tax rates to the products. So, to assign these tax rates to the products, go to Catalog, Products. I am selecting this product beautiful gown dress. The gross price of this product is Rs. 3000. 
Remember, we have chosen to display gross plus plus net value. So now, I move on to edit this particular product to assign the defined web text. Choose the web class we created under configuration and click on save. After doing all the required changes to this product, I would like to see how it looks like on the front end. So let me select the preview option from top right. Wow! I see the desired result. So, as I see the net price of the product is Rs. 2500 and the gross price including of 20% tax rate is Rs. 3000. I hope I have explained this feature in the best possible way. The other feature included in the new release 5.8.0 is calculation of unit price. Thanks to this lovely feature, it allows us to display price of single unit from a pack of box. To make use of this feature, go to Configuration, Catalog, Products. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see option Unit Price Calculation. Make sure this option is set to yes. Then click on save button. Next step is to define unit ratio based on number of products in one box. So let's go to catalog products. You need to decide on which product you would like to assign the unit ratio option. Right now I have a pack of three mineral water bottles. So I select add it for this particular product. As you are on edit page, scroll slightly down and make sure you check this option show unit price calculation. You will notice one piece is equal to 60 rupees. After you check the option of show unit price calculation, you will notice some fields below it. Here you need to add unit ratio. As we have pack of 3 mineral water bottles, so I will input the value as 3. Better is to click outside. You will now notice product value has been equally divided. Scroll down the page and click on save. After doing all the required changes to this product, I would like to see how it looks like on the front end. So let me select the preview option from top right corner. Wow! I see the desired result. One bottle equals to rupees 20. Let's move on to the final feature of this version. Assigning of on sale price to multiple products. Thanks to this, now we can assign on sale price together to multiple products rather than assigning one by one to each product. And we can also allot start and end date of promotion. To make best use of this feature, let's again go to admin area. Now go to catalog. Products. Select the required products. You can select a single product or even multiple products. For now, let me demonstrate by selecting multiple products. After you select products, go to the drop down which is next to choose next step and select create special offer. After selecting, you can set the required range of dates by choosing from the calendar. After you select the range of dates from the calendar, go to this input box. Define the discount that you would like to offer on this product. 
The discounts can be in percentage or amount. Right now, I input minus 20% and click go button. Okay, so now let's check the activity on the storefront. Please click on the store page present next to the Zencommerce logo. Now let's go to the on sale tab present on the navigation bar. Yeah, I see the activity accurately the way I performed in the backend panel. As we have now successfully achieved what we have performed so far. Now if you wish to add it or amend the same ongoing promotion, then it also has the ability to change the same. Let's again go to the admin panel and amend the present ongoing sale. Go to marketing, on sale. Select the product that you would like to add it for on sale. After you select the product, click on the drop down and perform the change in your promotion. For example, I would like to change the price of this product under this ongoing sale. Then I select change promotion price. Then I change percentage from minus 20% to minus 30% and click go. Let's go again to the front end and see the change. Amazing! It's achieved. In this video, we presented three new features in version 5.8.0. We believe these features will make the working of your online store successful. In the future, we will inform you about the new updates. Thank you for patiently watching our new update 5.8.0. If you require any further help on this, Please email us at support at the rates and commerce dot team or call us at 022-277-29229 or 022-277-29220. Thank you for listening.